when black people were being denied the opportunity to vote, systemically, the Democratic Party was nowhere to be found. It's almost like, it, it, to make a golf analogy, they want a mulligan on racism. They blew it. The Democrats blew it during the Civil War, and they blew it during the Civil Rights Movement. And they want a mulligan. And so what they're doing is they're trying to create the belief that it's the 1950s and 60s all over again. And oh my God, if we don't pass this John Lewis Act, black people won't be able to vote. It's, and I'm 54 years old. I've lived in South Carolina. I've lived in Kansas City, Missouri. I've lived in California. I've lived in Indiana. Have I missed, and now I live in Tennessee. I have not run into in my family or any people that I've dealt with in any of those states, I haven't run into black people that have told, <laughs> man, I tried to vote in that last election and man, the white supremacists just stopped me. I couldn't vote. Wow. Oh, if we don't do something, Next time, how, I mean, I've just been denied this vote. That's what was going on in America in the 1900s, all the way up through pretty much the Voting Rights Act. Black people's voting rights were in real jeopardy. I'm not saying that right now they're 100% safe, because maybe there is. I've had people try to convince me that, you know, our voting rights are flimsy or whatever, but I just haven't run into these people who are being denied the opportunity to vote. And so when black people were being denied the opportunity to vote, systemically, the Democratic Party was nowhere to be found. When we were enslaved, the Democratic Party nowhere to be found. When the KKK was lynching black people to intimidate them in the ways that they voted or to keep them in line. The Democratic Party was nowhere to be found. And so here we are in 2021. Uh, what is that? Now we're five years removed from Barack Obama's presidency. Now our voting rights are so in jeopardy that if they don't pass this specific law, who knows if we'll ever be able to vote again. Now that we're five years removed from having a two-term black president, our, our current president is holding speeches and rallies telling America that the greatest threat to America is white supremacy. Joe Biden has been in political office, I believe, for 48 years. 48 years ago, he had an opportunity to give speeches and say, Woo, this white supremacy, we got to do something about it. He didn't do that at that time. He called the desegregation of schools. He didn't want his kids going to racial jungles. He, he ran around and, and celebrated Robert Byrd, a member of the KKK, when it was time to step up and let your little boys hang Joe Biden was nowhere to be found. And now in 2021, when Dr. Dre and Snoop and Mary J. Blige are the halftime show of the Super Bowl, the greatest, most powerful event we have, they're gonna let a bunch of clown rappers come on and cuss and do all, but black cultures baked it, whatever, what they're calling black cultures, baked into the greatest event that we put on. And we're supposed to believe, we're supposed to go for the, now Joe Biden has found his voice. And oh, this white supremacy, we just gotta stop it, the Proud Boys. They're just gonna mess this whole thing up. This man was alive when the KKK was burning crosses and killing black folks at random, at, and he said nothing.